Now we're ready to brew the pattern and should be able to expose you a set of flames that match symmetrically. In addition to on bag of flames, we suggest you use a product called crepe tape. Size is eighth inch and three quarter. Eighth inch tape, the reason why we choose this is because of flexibility. It's able to either come around the corners and the apexes and the tips and be able to make them flow with ease. This tape is very, very flexible. So the first thing we want is we want to start with the side of the car because we don't want to use our body to, when we're leaning over to do the hood, we don't want to wipe off the chalk. So we're going to start up here at the top of the fender and we're going to start following the pattern. Now when you do this, you want to kick your tape to the side. If you notice, it isn't like this. It's like this off to the side. That enables you more flexibility and you will follow the pattern around Switch hands, rotate back around, and follow the flame. Keeping a nice, smooth rhythm. Now, if you don't like this pattern, and it doesn't transfer well for you, you can simply wipe it off with some damp rags, and then just redo it. It's not something you really need to really be so perfect. If it doesn't turn out the first time, you can try again until you get the flow of it. Again, you want to be careful that you don't wipe off the pattern while you're doing this. You want to kind of work on your fingertips. If you notice my hands way out here, I'm about seven, eight, maybe ten inches out. When I get to the whips, I can pull out a little further, make a nice flow. Start off nice and straight, follow the whip around the apex. Nice, smooth, round transition, flowing back through the tip again, and again, picking it up, going the other direction. This will take a little bit of practice, but as you get it going, your first flame and your last flame will transition, and you'll get better and better each time you use it. Remember, you can always practice this before you even put it on a car. You can put it on your refrigerator, you can put it on uh, the washer and dryer, and just pounce it on there. Practice on them first before you put it on your car, if you're not quite feeling sure of yourself. If we don't like a flame, a little flat here, we can simply pull it back up and rechange it. Maybe make it a little bit more laid back. That's the beautiful thing about tape. Now that we've laid out the side, we don't have to worry about wiping off the chalk with our body as we lean over. So now we're going to do the hood. After you've laid out the bag of flames pattern, you want to be able to back tape them. So what we're going to show you is a few tricks and be able to back tape them. For the beginners, I always suggest you use some quarter inch layout tape, crepe tape, to be able to outline inside the apexes. You're basically following the exact same design you have, but you want to be halfway laid on top of just what you just laid out. So it knows your tape is half covering it. Once you come around to the top like this, you break it off, take your three quarter inch tape, follow it around as well. Now, crepe tape will expand, but it won't contract so well. So you have to go on the outside here, allow the inside to buckle as you spin around. As you come back around, take your finger, let it expand out, snap it off. Come back in and fill in the middle. 
And there you got a set of Apex back tape and ready to go. Move on to the next one. Now this example, I'm gonna show you how to do this in three quarter without the quarter. This is the more advanced method. As you get going, you'll learn how to do this without using the quarter, saving you a little more time and tape. When you get to a corner like this where the tape is actually too fat, to, you simply just lay your thumbnail here, snap it back in the opposite direction, and that's where that quarter inch will come in and fill in that gap. So there you have it, a symmetrical set of flames. So basically, here you're ready to go. So go out and enjoy yourself and be creative. And remember, you can purchase our product online at bagofflames.com or your nearest supplier or distributor.